The following video covers the installation of the PLP compression dead end for ACFR and ACSS conductors. Measure and mark 8 inches or 203 millimeters from the end of the conductor. Apply tape just past the mark to secure the outer strands during the cutting procedure in the next step. Using a conductor cutting tool, remove the outer strands of aluminum up to the 8 inch 203 millimeter mark. The innermost layer of aluminum strands should not be removed, but it is acceptable if these are scored by the cutting tool. With the aluminum inner sleeve held 3 eighths of an inch or 9.5 millimeters from the end of the outer aluminum strands, mark the length to the end of the conductor. Using a wire brush, clean the conductor up to the mark made in the previous step. Apply the supplied grease evenly to this entire area. With the tapered end facing the conductor, slide the inner sleeve up to the mark on the outer strands. Then clean the sleeve and apply grease evenly to the surface. With the terminal pad oriented towards the end of the conductor, slide the aluminum outer tube onto the inner sleeve and out of the way of the area of the conductor where the strands were removed. Measure and mark 7 inches, or 178 millimeters, from the end of the conductor. Ensuring that the washer is in place, slide the steel dead end eye onto the end of the conductor up to the 7 inch, 178 millimeter mark. Measure and mark 7 inches, or 178 millimeters, from the end of the steel eye. This will be the stop point for compressions. Following the chart found in the application procedure, install the appropriate compression die for the steel eye into a 60 ton or 100 ton press. Lubricate the dies and the area of the steel eye to be compressed. Align the end of the steel eye with the chamfer in the compression die and ensure that the eye is straight in the die and level. Begin compressions at the end of the steel eye and continue up to the stop mark made at 7 inches or 178 millimeters. Recommended overlap between compressions is 50% in order to avoid curvature of the eye. Slide the outer tube towards the end of the conductor until it compresses the washer to the steel eye. Realign the end of the inner tube with the mark on the outer strands of the conductor if necessary. Following the chart found in the application procedure, install the appropriate compression die for the outer aluminum tube. Lubricate the dies and areas to be compressed. Ensuring that the outer tube is straight in the die and level, make one compression between the neural marks near the terminal pad. Continue making compressions starting at the other neural mark and working to the end of the outer tube. Recommended overlap between compressions is 50% in order to avoid curvature of the tube.
The installation of the PLP compression dead end for ACFR or ACSS conductors is now complete. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Be sure to read and fully understand the application procedures supplied with the product before installing it.